Greetings, everybody. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 14th. The way this is going to work is we are going to be playing an Apocalypse difficulty. Uh, there's not an actual ton of difference between the Survivor and Apocalypse. The most notable is that when you get surrounded, zombies will pull you to the ground and eat you with no chance of survival. Your weapon cannot hit more than one zombie at a time. Um, and if zombies attack you from behind, there is a high likelihood that they do damage to you. Those are the three main differences. So we'll be playing in Riverside. And I'm going to call the save name MM. This will make sense to you in a moment. I was thinking about exactly what kind of build I want. And uh, this is what I came up with. So my traits, high thirst, because water is fairly abundant, easy to get, slow healer, uh, because it doesn't really matter how slow you heal unless you fracture your legs from jumping out of a burning mall. Underweight, instead of overweight. Underweight is a minus one fitness, but that can be remedied when you gain weight back up, you'll regain the fitness. A uh, hearty appetite, so I can, you know, eat more or whatever. Smoker, because it's sort of a freebie. I don't like that it's a freebie. I think it should change. I think there should be like endurance penalties to smoker. So it isn't a freebie, but still. Weak stomach, because I'm not planning on eating any rotten food anyway. Uh, slow reader, because big deal. 30% longer, not a big deal. Sunday driver, just because I needed one extra point. Cat eyes, allowing me to see a bit better at night. Outdoorsman, so that I don't get colds. Or 90% chance uh, uh, less to get colds. Lucky which I'll have no idea if this benefits me. Basically, Lucky gives you a little bit extra luck for loot, and it's it doesn't tell you when you get lucky, uh, but given my track record with trying to find things that I cannot find, I figured Lucky just makes sense. Fast Learner, which I would say is pretty much the most needed trait in the game, considering how slow it can be to, uh, to level up. Keen Hearing, which is interesting. Keen hearing actually gives you like a bubble around you, which makes you aware. Uh, this is, it's a lot more obvious what keen hearing does when you compare it when you don't have it, but it kind of gives you vision behind your head um, a little bit. Athletic and strong. Uh, so we are going to be uh, kicking butt. And this is of course all vanilla, no mods. Okay, and then the person I want is Melissa McBride. Uh, many of you probably don't know who that is, but um, she would be about the right age and in the right location to actually be in a 1993 Kentucky zombie apocalypse. Um, so, yes, she's the one that played Carol on Walking Dead, and uh, she would be like 30 something. And she was, you know, she grew up in Kentucky, so I, I figured it was sort of perfect. All right. So here it is, Melissa, let's get going. The first week of survival, uh, I am very much going to be doing the television life and life and living uh, meta, which is a little unfortunate. Do I know that Sunder Driver messes up towing? Yes, and uh, I don't really care. So here's my starting house. I don't think it's going to have a television. Oh god, it's not gonna have anything. Cool. Thank you, Starting House. I always wanted a cockroach. Alright, it's gonna be one of those starts. This is, of course, a start in... Uh, you know what? I feel like the game is overwhelmingly loud. This is a start where it's uh, essentially random. And... The starting house that you get will always be safe, devoid of zombies, but, oh lord, is this house lame. There is nothing in here but a cockroach and an empty bottle, which I just filled up with water. Okay. Well, couldn't do worse. I'm gonna pause a minute. I do have a command called map. So if you hit map, Oh, if you hit map, uh, you'll be able to sort of follow along. Now, I'm not exactly sure where I am on this map. I could probably uh, poke around and try to figure out where I might be. 
because that obviously changes my approach for where I search. Um, yeah. Now, the one of the first things I'm going to want to do here is to find a television because there are television shows being broadcasted and it's free experience if I get a TV. This person looks like they have a sort of tattered leather coat. Oh, one thing I wanted to do. The only change to the current difficulty that I have is to show hit markers uh, because honestly, it's ridiculous. Uh, ridiculously hard not to. So hit markers just highlights what you're aiming at uh, so that you can hit it. And now I have this tethered leather coat protecting basically nothing, I'd imagine, because it was almost fully torn. Fall down. And a watch, which allows me to know it is 9.30 in the morning of July 9th. You know, I don't see it. Oh, no, there is a TV in here. Well, okay. Also, kind of sounds like there's like a swarm already going on. Now, on Apocalypse difficulty, especially without multi-hit weapons, it's definitely in your best interest to take things one at a time. I mean, that's always true. But on this difficulty, it is even more true. Unfortunately, given my lack of a proper weapon, uh, stomping is my only defense. So I'm just going to get out of here. There's too many of them already. Now, where am I? Uh, there's a house with two uh, dog houses and a fence. That is a bit of a landmarker, which I might be able to help locate my location. I'm going to pause it for just a second to try to figure out where the heck am I in Riverside. I think I'm... Okay, I know where I am. I am in the northwest of Riverside. Uh, yeah, pretty significantly northwest. Yeah, top left corner of the town. Got that now. Anything can use on him? Not really. Now, I, I would like to not skip the first cooking show. But it wouldn't be critical if I did. Uh, the carpentry would be unfortunate if I missed that. And it all depends on how much they want to chase me and whether I get a a weapon that I can use to defend myself other than a garden fork, which is uh, really not going to help me much. Alright, that window's broken. This is some pretty trashed yards. Nope. Lock broke. Let me in! Now I'm underweight, so eating kind of everything I find is really not... Ooh, Carpentry Beginners. That is a legendary find. Eating pretty much everything I find is not a bad idea to try to lose my underweightness. And the first order of business is to find a place that I think... Oh, hi. A place that is decent for me to hole up in. And then also a vehicle. I'm taking the curtains, so I might be able to obscure vision um, to a house that I want to settle in. Curtains are always nice to have. And, uh, wow, look at all that happened in the, uh, Jim Bob, I love trees, Kakata, thank you for the bits, Zephyr for the gifted sub, Sam for the sub. Cheers, all. I'm gonna move on. This house didn't yield what I wanted. Hey, a taxi cab. No docks this round. In fact, that's already in the about. No revives. 
One life to live. Candy cane, I'll take that. Alcohol wipes, not bad. Nothing in the seats, and what about the trunk? Nothing in the trunk. I don't know why I don't try the front doors before I try the windows. But we got a TV in here. The radio... Let me mute it. It does not have an emergency broadcast. So that is still unknown to us. This is a bit of a corner house. Um, kind of remote, slightly... Oh, I have the key to that taxi cab. Awesome. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle here. Uh, why did I take off the watch? Right, let me favorite that. Well, I don't need to now that I'm wearing it. Um, keep the bandage on me and keep the sheets and the carpentry for beginners. Now, I definitely, well, not definitely. Let me see if I can't catch that initial show. Do I think it's cheesy to reuse uh, zombie respawns? No. I did it in my last series. Okay, I should probably clear the entire... Okay, yeah, we are, we are clear. Close the window. There we go. So we have a temporary little house that we can settle in. And I am going to get as much of this carpentry for beginners read before the carpentry comes on. So there is a schedule uh, for these show broadcasts. They're known and planned. Um, day zero, which is the current day I'm on, it would be cooking show in the morning. Carpentry in the evening, fishing at night. I still feel like the music is just blaring, even though it's about at the bottom of the slider. There, that's that's better. Uh, yeah, this is entirely vanilla. Everything is out up in the about title. And here we go, starting with the basics. So this is going to be a carpentry show. The kind of stuff they teach at kindergarten. Floors? Do you like floors? I do. Nothing like good flooring advice. You hate the fact that you can only sit on the ground? Yep, that is what it is. Obviously, I didn't get enough of this book read uh, to benefit me XP wise, but that's fine. And door frames will be next for tomorrow. And I believe that's all the XP I'm going to get uh, from this show. Yep. All right, so this will be my base of operations, because why not? TV, I'll be back. Thank you for teaching me. Let's check out this cab that I now own. It has a gas tank. So I already have a vehicle, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, it's in terrible shape. Well, not terrible. It could be worse. It's in bad shape. Quite bad shape. But it will do in a pinch. So at this point, until there is the uh, fishing show at night, I'm just going to want to scavenge the neighborhood as safely as I can for books, food, weapons, whatever I might be able to find. Armor, clothing, while avoiding larger groups. So this was 
I'm gonna head back towards where I started to see if I can't start cleaning up a bit. With my luck, I'm gonna get a house alarm, aren't I? Oh! A murder-suicide! Well, that's dark. Okay. And a riding helmet. One would think you would take off the helmet before a murder-suicide situation. I mean, I, I, I could be wrong, but if someone's gonna shoot me to spare me from the zombie apocalypse, um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I'm not sure I would be wearing a helmet. But I guess, uh, I guess if I'm gonna die, it doesn't really matter, does it? Mechanics for beginners, that's terrific. Tailoring and first aid. First aid, I almost don't care about, because you have to be losing at life to level up first aid. Dead Mouse. I'm a big fan of your music. Well, sort of. Taking all the curtains. And a lighter. And a can opener. I'll just eat the broccoli now. Hello! Sorry, we're not open. You'll have to come back tomorrow. So, 6 p.m. is when the fishing show can start, uh, but you can catch it anywhere between, like, 6 and late at night. Oh, you beat me to it. Oh, is he a cop? No, nah, he's just dressed nice. Little dress shirt thing going on. Yeah, clip-on tie. Suit pants. Looking fancy. I'm getting very lucky with books, yes. Getting the mechanics book, the tailoring book, the carpentry book. Super, super, super lucky. I haven't found a single thing that I would call a weapon, because this garden fork ain't a weapon. Definitely gonna want to avoid that group. So, see this little bubble behind me? This, like, illuminated area? That's from Keen Senses. Uh, giving me a little bit of, like, uh, a third eye behind me. Very handy when a bite from the back is instantly fatal. Well, not always, but but a bite would be fatal. I'm near my weight capacity. I know I have garbage bags that I could um I could use to haul things. But I'd rather just make uh, multiple trips. Make rags for bandages. I have a bandage. And if I need to, I can always, um... There we go. I can always... Fix, uh, myself some more bandages with the sheets I have. It's only like an added minute or two to do that. Grab the pop, bowl, fork. I mean, not fork, uh, cup. I already have a can opener. Frying pan would be nice. And tailoring for intermediates. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, did it? No. Oh. Definitely have some fans. I missed some food on the stove? Yeah, I'll go back for it. Maybe not at this moment, though. Can you just fall down? That is not who I'm trying to stomp on, Melissa. There we go, one's down. 
Nothing like. I like his uh, mohawk. I grow tired of this conga line. There we go. Again, it's not. Uh, it's not great to have to juggle so many, and I wouldn't if I could help it. But oh, here comes more. I'm pretty highly encumbered as well. Okay, there we go. So pushy. I mean, you need to be in a zombie world. Alright, so what did I miss? A meat patty. Okay. I'm underweight, and I have a hearty appetite, so... I'm just gonna basically be shoving everything that I find in my face. As long as it's edible and not run. Eat the whole world. <laughs> Definitely in the market for a better leather jacket. This one... That one's probably better. This one has so many holes in it, it basically is not protecting me. So let's see the difference. Right now, uh, about 50% scratch for everything, 17% bite for everything. If I wear the leather one, which normally leather would be better, but this one is ruined. No, this is still better. My right thigh is exposed. My upper right arm is exposed. So it's got some significant holes in it, but... On average, I think it's a little bit better. I'll wear it. One thing I should probably do is to unlock all the windows from the inside, because this is my temporary house. And what I'm going to be doing is collecting, um, uh, collecting and stockpiling pretty much everything that I can, and then uh, when it's time for me to move on, I move on. Uh, I have a car already. I, I wouldn't mind some additional gas for that car. Would be nice. I'm going to keep the lighter with me, because I am a smoker, and as you can see, I'm already on edge on the top right uh, due to my lack of cigarettes, so I'll be looking for cigarettes. Let's keep that on me, and fill the water bottle, and head back out. So this was the group that was originally chasing me through the houses. Do I have any future goals? No, just survive. I mean, it's Zomboid, so... We'll make goals as we survive. I'm, of course, hopeful I'll survive longer than, uh, than just a day or two. Time will tell. I'm also going to need to start remembering which houses I've been in, which houses I've not, so I don't backtrack, because that's a waste of time. And here we go, a cigarette. Taking them on hand to hand. I don't really have much of a choice. I really do think that it will be, it would be even less effective to use the garden fork. Truth be told, I'm not even really sure I, why I have the garden fork with me. Um, Cause it really is not an effective weapon. Oh, we've got, oops. I grabbed something I didn't mean to. That was a nice little jackpot there.
All right, how are my shoes holding up? Uh, seven eighths or so. They're okay. It's actually a pretty good way to build up your maintenance skill. So if I take a look at my skills here. Oh no, I lied. Oh, but that looks like a good leather jacket. Hey, you. Yeah, you, I'm pushing you. You can kind of tell because you can see that there aren't so many holes in this thing. Yep. So now my protection is pretty evenly good. That was a much, much better leather jacket. Is this a really weird Sims mod pack? Sure. I haven't found a hammer, haven't found a screwdriver or scissors. Looks like there's something in this lady's bag. Letter opener, that's... That could be used for, like, sneak attacks, I guess. Short blade sneak. But not an ideal weapon. What means. Oh, she has gloves. I want your gloves. Great. One of the most exposed parts of our body would be our hands, especially as we shove. And here's a spare denim shirt. Denim shirts offer a little bit more protection than the average shirt. Same with a V-neck sweater. Well, not a V-neck. Never mind. And I'll grab that leather opener, why not? Now, the next show is going to kick off... Uh, I'm going to run a uh, quote-unquote home for it. And running will help l level up my uh, sprinting ability and fitness and all that. I don't do a lot of running in PZ because you can easily injure yourself running, which is funny and sad. And let's sit so we regain some of our exhaustion, or lose some of our exhaustion. Sanker, thanks for resub. Richie Lee and Planet B. Thanks for the follows. And Akamai. Rolling in now. So this here is a fishing lesson. Uh, this will give me 81.25 experience. I did miss the initial cooking, uh, but getting that carpentry was honestly clutch. As carpentry is uh, an important one. One thing that you can do here is uh, if you go to your... Is it accessibility? If you go to your accessibility here, resume normal speed when timed actions complete is a important checkbox to have checked. Because what you could do is you can cue yourself up a task like um, reading a book and it will, you'll speed through reading the book. Of course, as you are accelerating time, you're vulnerable. So you should only do that when you think you're safe. Uh, but then it goes back to normal speed at the end. I think of doing things I didn't get a chance to do before, like fish more. Um, I, I really have no idea. Right now, I'm solely focused on, well, that stuff, uh, which is the bare minimum for initial survival. Maximize the XP in the next seven days. Uh, scavenge and find a car. I can scratch, find a car, and put find a Jenny. And Jenny. Um, generator, of course. Generator is going to allow me to power my house once the power goes out and then uh, gaining carpentry skill and collecting trash bags is going to allow me to uh, get, uh, you know, give myself water when the power goes out. I'm not going to do any organization here. This is a temporary base, so I don't really care. I'll sort through it once I'm uh, packing the trunk about what I want to keep, what I don't. Hey, Giraffe. Another month down indeed. So I have a bedroom. Let's check out the storage capacity of this trunk. 28 pounds. 
or kilograms. Uh, not great. Pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. I'm trying to lure uh, these zombies over to me so I can kill them one at a time. If you want to see how pointless the garden fork is, I could try it on whomever is next. I'm also going to want to find some perishables. Uh, more perishables. So, taking a look at where I am. Uh, actually, my smart map. I'm on the northwest side. I do have... Let's, let's, uh, let's try the cemetery shack. Let's see if the cemetery shack might have... Uh, tools or something, which is this way. It's just, just down this way. So there's a cluster just next to that shack. That is not the cemetery shack, because obviously this is not a cemetery. Oh, I never look at the freezer part of the fridges? You're right, I should check those more often. Especially before the, uh, the power goes out. Velhar and DJ Hand, thanks for the follow and the sub. So this is the semi cemetery shack. And this is how pointless this weapon is. Not exactly the weapon of choice for crowd control. Way easier just to shove them over and stomp them heads. I don't even... Why do I even have the hand for it? Guess I could stick it on a spear. Oh, they're guarding it. Lame. And what I could do is I could uh, sneak and sort of lure them over. Oh, no, I just lured the four of them. Nope, three of them. That's good. Trying to drag them away just a few at a time so I can manage to kill them without getting overwhelmed. So the other two are coming now. She is getting her stomp on. I don't know why I'm picking up these classic wrist wristwatches. They're not really going to benefit me. We'll give those classics to this guy. Hey, you. Here's some watches. Digitals, of course, we can break down for electronic components, but... Classics, not so much. And it's locked. Okay. Well, without a welder's mask and a torch, uh, we're not going to be able to open that up. Or a sledgehammer. One or the other. We could open it up just by bashing the door a whole lot, but I don't really have a good weapon to do that bashing. And uh, if I start that bashing, I'm going to signal the neighborhood to come eat me. So that, that those would be the three ways to, uh, to get through a door. No alarm so far. And I just jinxed myself. What plunger? Nothing like attaching a plunger as a weapon, right? Uh, Mrs. Clean. Okay, I can hear a zombie following me in. Ooh, ham. I will eat half of the ham. How's the zombie hunting going so far, Glitch? Uh, pretty good. Haven't been bit, haven't been hurt. Have a lot of good bucks. That is a loud TV. You, stop it. Advanced mechanics and advanced cooking. Well, not advanced mechanics book, but a magazine about some advanced mechanics. A trumpet. Oh, yeah, I'll... I'll that will be my weapon. <laughs> Can 
Wait, that, that zombie that was following me to come harass me? Oh, you really were right there, huh? I'll lay down the brass. It's getting to be 9 p.m. Soon it will be dark. I do have cat eyes as a trait, which will give me a little bit of an edge at night more than if I didn't have it. But uh, I'm going to start working my way home because it is a pretty good time to get some reading done as well. My weight currently is not going up, so you know what? Let me eat another quarter of this ham. A generator! Oh! Hello. Oh, here we go. Screwdriver, shovel, wrench, garden saw, generator. This is, this shed knows what's up. Well, time to break my back walking home. Sludge coming on the first day. I doubt it. Okay, so there's three there that I need to avoid, but I don't want to avoid them by going into the woods. Don't avoid potential danger by putting yourself in even more of it. I might put this generator in one of the passenger seats of the cab. So if I have to get it to dodge quickly, like, let's say, Chopper, which shouldn't be coming you know, anytime soon. But let's say we get a chopper event, uh, I want the generator packed and ready to go. Okay, so the generator is in seat four. Works for me. Party, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the uh, trumpet battle. And my weight is going up now. Great. I'm going to do a quick perimeter check. Okay, these two are wandering off. The only problem with this house is there's not, uh, there's not good sight lines out in the woods here. So I'm, right now I'm sneak crawling and hitting Q, which is normally the screaming at the zombies. So if there's any zombies in, in these trees, I will signal them over, um, by whispering at them like they're some sort of stray cat. I'm going to unload and check back in a minute. I'm thinking of what I need to keep on me. Probably, I have high thirst, but I, I haven't needed two water bottles yet. Wow, that wrench is super messed up. I'll put the ham in the fridge. Where it belongs. I'm I'm collecting bugs and rats and things just in case. I'll freeze them. I don't believe there's any zombies danger close to the house because they would have been pulled by that whispering. So, we should be okay. How is this uh, trumpet holding up? 
Uh, it's half broken. Sit in front of the mighty TV. All right, here's what I want to do next. I am going to set my alarm for 5.50 of tomorrow morning uh, so that I can be up at the crack of dawn and uh, watch my... What show is it going to be? It's going to be cooking. It's always cooking in the morning. Watch my cooking show. Um, but I prioritize... Like, I value carpentry more, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time tonight reading more of this carpentry book to give me an XP, XP multiplier. And there we go. Now we can go to sleep. Also, don't smoke inside. It's gross. But this is 1993, and people had no manners. Didn't know better, so... All right, let's hope we uh, wake up without zombies chewing on us. You can give her a pass. Nope. Stop. Didn't mean to reset it. Okay, weight is increasing, which is good. I'm currently not being eaten. We made it through the night. And here is the cooking show. Now there's a myth, I believe, that speeding through it gives you less XP, but I don't believe that is true. Uh, we just got, uh, what was it, 75... 85, 95, 97.5, 97.5 experience, which is exactly what we should be getting from that show. So, correct. Oh, I didn't mean to freeze the ham. I meant to refrigerate it. Oopsie. Yeah, that was debunked. Cool. Well, I didn't watch the debunking, but I just debunked it myself. So, you're welcome. Now we have, what time is it? It is seven in the morning, so we have until, you know, we have five more hours until we have to go do stuff. I have to decide what direction I want to try to loot. I'm going to go down to the construction yard, which is uh, like southwest of where I am now. Walking out there without a care in the world. Turn off the oven if you didn't. I think I did. I probably didn't. There is a... Uh, yeah, okay, I did. Uh, there is a, um, a planned feature with VCRs on the horizon, which will fix the sort of TV couch potato meta that we've got going on. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Where you can find the tapes for tape shows and not have to sit in front of a couch. Okay, I hear so Oh, there you are. TV meta is a little boring, yeah, I agree. And uh, that's sort of why I fast forwarded time through it. Now, I've already, I've already gone through this house. The construction yard is this way. I'll probably. The construction yard has a lot of cars, so it's possible that I get something better than the cab I have. Because the cab I have is pretty garbage. Especially its trunk space. I mean, I could repair the trunk if I had metal work tools, but. The trunk space is pretty limiting. So let me find myself on the map again. Exclamation mark map would be the uh, command for that. So after this house here, the, the sort of like uh, sand lot, if you will, uh, will be the next building over. And I'll just break federal crimes here and read someone else's mail.
So what is this teaching me? A noisemaker? Probably never to be utilized ever. <laughs> it's not something I typically use. And then this is uh, maintenance for... I'll just put this back, I don't even care. This here is an instructor manual containing diagrams and common and maintenance tasks for popular budget and family car models. What car would it be in 1993? Like a Toyota Corolla? Or a Camry or something? I'm trying to think of the uh, real life cars that you'd typically find. Like a Ford Windstar. Ooh, yes. That's a family, a budget family car model. Well, this fog is going to make uh, exploration a little bit more dangerous. Hey, Sajuka. And Stutach. Yep, I've wandered into something. That lady looked like she had a Glasgow smile. Uh, my shoes. Nah, yeah, they're holding up. This is not gonna. Oh! Was not expecting that to work. God, there's not a lot of food around here. Farming for beginners, awesome. Expert first aid, probably don't need that ever, but I'll grab it. I'll check the freezer. Thanks for the reminder, Shona. <laughs> hey, Glitch. Good finds? I know, I know. Farming, farming books are great. All right, freezer. Pizza and pie. Awesome. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta mouse scroll for those more often. You're totally right. All right, that's a bank of swarm right there. I'm gonna avoid that. Not gonna be able to trumpet my way through that group. One already peeled off for me. But as long as it's just the one and not all of them, I think I'm fine. Is it wash up time? I could wash up. But I have no wounds or anything, so. I'm not that worried. Have I just wandered into more? I hear them all around me, but I don't see anything. Oh, you know, because I don't think they can climb that fence. They're having to find their own pathing. Okay, we do have a water cooler. Bye, trumpet. Nice one to have a proper weapon, won't it? Okay, that's cleared. Lines, thanks for the follow. I bet I find just paper in here. Garbage bag, paper. Nothing, nothing in there, of course. Yep, just paper. I was right. Water dispensers are no longer five kilos. They're 30. So plan accordingly. 
In fact, uh, I'm gonna put this down while I search this, uh, area. Okay, the, the trumpet can keep it company. Zeds cannot climb the, the, these tall fences, no. Making them moderately safe. That that Zed doesn't even know where I am. Don't do meth or heroin. You'll end up like that zombie right there. So far, these these vehicles have been very disappointing. Locked. Nope. Got company. Was this yours? No keys. Oh, right, it doesn't have a trunk. Oh, here's the security guard that was supposed to secure these vehicles. Oh, she's a ranger, never mind. And I'm gonna wear her new shoes. Here, miss, you can have my old ones. Oh, I have the keys. Keys were, uh, were in the car. I'll celebrate with some pie. Pie in the morning. Really milking that pie there, aren't you? Took like 10 minutes to eat it. Uh, well, this thing is out of gas, has no basically no tires and no brakes oddly enough uh, everything else seems to be more or less fine other than a bad door uh this car is violating the laws of physics and is both on both sides of the fence it also has a full tank of gas just about and is locked i mean No key in this one. Oh, metal pipe. There we go. And a lug wrench is pretty good, too. Uh, this is a car key for one of these cars. With a Nyla. They have an annotated map in here. Of West Point. Okay. Well, that's not exactly... I'm not zone restricted, so... I might keep that. Those zombie noises are around the other side of the fence. And this thing has... Ooh, has a lot of gas. Okay, we have a new vehicle. It's Nyla. 83%. Everything in the black. And a trunk of 46. Not uh, the 28 or whatever the last one was. And because we have Sunday Driver, we have to drive this back like we're an octogenarian with dilated pupils. But wait, another Nyla key. Assuming for this one. Let's see if it's worth uh, siphoning or stripping parts. Don't forget the water collector. Cooler? Yes. Uh, this has no fuel. Now, in this version, we do have a finite amount of gas in gas stations, but it is a very large and finite amount. So it's not something I'm worried about. Plus, we can be more nomadic than the last series I ran. And it's noon. So it's... It's pizza time. I'm trying to put weight on this lady. Alright, that's a large group. I hope I lose them. 
Here's yet another Nyla. Tis Garen. Thanks for the follow and welcome. Alright, doesn't look like I've lost everybody following me, but some. Man, it is hard to navigate. It's thick as soup. Okay, I'm just gonna fully expect they're gonna follow me all the way home, so I might as well take them out here. So this is the first time I'm using a weapon, other than the, like, moment of garden forking. Hand fork, whatever they called it. Home sweet home. I do need to move that generator, but it's, uh, it's carpentry clock. Might have to sit through some infomercials. Yep, a fossil oil infomercial. We've cleaned up the Gulf of Alaska. What, from the Valdez? <laughs> I like these infomercials, they're funny. When was the Valdez? Is that the right time period? Was that like 89 or something? When was the Valdi spill? 89. Dang. Dang. I pulled that number out of nowhere. <laughs> so here we go. Some extra carpentry experience. Hey, Ascendancy. It's funny to have you in chat and not be raided by you. Welcome, dude. Alright, now I'm going to start reading other books because we're about to bypass the starter two levels of carpentry. Or thanks for the follow. Your schedule's off because you you got stuck in the one more turn. I understand. I totally understand. Uh, there's hmm. maybe. No, I'll, I'll read the farming over tail. Well, no, I'm going to read tailoring over farming. Because farming, you have to harvest crops, so there's lag time. And tailoring, there's... You know, it's the moment I get scissors, I'll start using tailoring. Alright, let's get that generator out of here. Forget. Is this a new run? It is. It's on apocalypse difficulty, which is harder, and there's no safe scums. Really no rules at all. Uh, I will put the water and the generator in the two back seats of this vehicle. Now, I haven't read the generator book, so I don't know how to use it, but when I do get to know how to use it, it will be handy. And a hydrate. Cheers. Okay, so the two rear seats have the generator and the water cooler. And I probably should point this car towards an escape, pointing it towards the lake. It isn't really going to help me in a pinch. Puppy treats. That's you, dude. Zombies will respawn, and I'm on an, an apocalypse, yeah. 
the default apocalypse difficulty. The default all of difficulties have zombie respawning. But there are some caveats to how zombies respawn. So zombies don't respawn if you're in the same area. It takes uh, three days of you not being somewhere for them to spawn in to where you were. So there is a... So it is hypothetically possible to, like, clear your home and not have uh, zombies overrun it. All right. It is 2.20 p.m. Have I gone through this house here? Man, I should start remembering, because I know there was a swarm. Yeah, I know I did. I'm going to start working my way southeast. I, no, now that the fog's cleared, maybe back to the um, the car lot. Because I'm sure there was more in the car lot that I just couldn't see. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody. <laughs>